minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor. Go. Minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor. Go. Minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor. Go. Minus 10, 9, 8, The clock is seven, operating. We're underway. Tranquility base here. Endeavor. Go. Well, asteroid 1950 DA is about two-thirds of a mile across. It spins once every 2.1 hours, which is the second fastest spin rate we've ever discovered for an asteroid so large. It was possible to observe it with radar in March of 2001 and uh, obtain precise measurements of its motion in space. This allowed us to de determine that the asteroid has the highest probability of impacting Earth of any case or asteroid yet discovered, however, in the year 2880, more than 878 years in the future. The risk posed by this asteroid is about 50 percent greater than uh, the background level due to all other asteroids combined over the same time span. Uh, this is not something to worry about for two reasons. First, uh, the event won't occur until uh, 878 years in the future. That's more than 35 generations from now. And second, although it's the highest probability impact we've seen, it's still very small, only 1 in 300. So for those two reasons, um, 
it's not something to worry about. I think the most likely result will be that uh, St. Patrick's Day parades in the year 2880 may be a little more festive as this object recedes into the distance. Well, the case of 1950 DA differs from other uh, discussions of potentially hazardous asteroids in the past. In those cases, the asteroid had been newly discovered, and there were only several days of observations available. The uncertainty a region for it covered a large part of the inner solar system, and uh, once additional observations came in a few days or weeks later, the region shrank and the Earth fell out of the, uh, the risk zone. The case of 1950 DA is different in that we have observations spanning 50 years, and we also have high-precision radar observations. Um, that makes this a, a very different case in which the impact risk assessment will not change until we are able to determine the physical properties of the asteroid in future years, and it could be decades, possibly more than a century. Determining the impact hazard um, involves lots of math and lots of science and lots of computer work. Just about everything we know about the physical sciences goes into these types of calculations. We look at the set of all statistically possible orbits for this object and use all the laws of physics to propagate them 880 years into the future. We used two different techniques to do this and obtained similar results for both techniques. Well, we were surprised to learn that the biggest source of remaining uncertainty in predicting this object's motion is the way that heat radiates off it into space. Now, sunlight shines on one half, which then rotates into darkness, and re-radiates the energy as heat. This heat energy acts like a weak rocket pushing on the asteroid. And even though it's a small effect, it accumulates over time. The magnitude of the pushing it depends on the physical characteristics of the asteroid its spin, its mass, um, how the whole surface absorbs and reflects light, uh, and it depends on the shape as well. If it looks like the uh, impact hazard is for 1950 DA is increasing over time, future generations might be able to address it by something as low-tech and simple as, as dusting it with a layer of uh, chalk or charcoal which would change the way that it reflects light and absorbs heat. Or alternatively, sending a, a solar sail spacecraft mission that would end by collapsing this reflective sail around the asteroid. Uh, these things would allow sunlight to do the hard work of uh, gently pushing the asteroid out of the way and avoiding any, any possibility of collision. Well, this research indicates that um, what we need to know about asteroids to properly assess the long-term hazard is knowledge of their physical properties. Um, ways of addressing this involve radar, which is the only ground-based source we have that can give us information about the shape and other physical properties of the asteroid, as well as permitting refinements of its orbit. Ideally, we would like to have a uh, powerful radar systems working in concert with spacecraft missions. The radar would identify the interesting targets, de develop preliminary information about their physical characteristics, and spacecraft could be sent to determine in detail what these, uh, the finer points of those physical characteristics.